I love you with all of my heart and I want to ask you if you will marry me. journey. I'm so excited for over three years. Um, Hart and I have been in a LDR. I met her in 2019 and she captured my heart and um, I was here for a month and a half. We met right before I left going back to the United States and um, we've been talking via um, messenger, sending cards and letters and just expressing our love towards each other and uh, this moment is finally here. Um, everybody has planned this surprise engagement party. She has no idea that we planned this, and it's going to be so exciting. I can't wait to propose to her, my future wife. She's so beautiful, she's so smart, and it's just the most, uh, one of the best days of my life. And the weather has cooperated. It started off as a rainy day, but now the rain has stopped. The Lord is blessing us, and our relationship is based on the foundation in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And we are so blessed uh, that he died for our sins and we're here today. This has been an amazing journey and it's getting better as every day goes by. I'm so honored that she has become my girlfriend and today she will become my fiance because I'm so excited to propose to her. And the most exciting part is it's a total surprise. She has no idea that this is planned and she will just be so surprised and I can't wait to see the expression on her face. This is wonderful and I just can't express my gratitude and thankfulness to all the participants. Uh, her sisters, her cousins, her friends and family, her dad, everyone that made this possible and we are here today and we will have an engagement party that will be unlike any other. Thank you so much. Thank you.
Good afternoon, family and friends. Welcome to Eric and Hearts Proposal and Engagement Party. We are extremely delighted that all of you are here to celebrate this important milestone in Eric and Hearts lives. We are your hosts for this afternoon. I am Elmi. And I am Ness. And we would like to welcome you to Eric and Hart's engagement party. Let's give them a round of applause, please. Okay. But before we proceed to our program, may I request everyone to please stand up. Please stand up and let's give our offering song to the Lord as we welcome the year 2023 and we will sing together, There Shall Be Showers of Blessing. The song copy is available in your respective seats. Everybody to uh, please stand in your Bible. There is a uh, Colossians chapter two and verse two, as the uh, verse seven. So kung wai, pwede lang man kamo ka pamati. Uh, so ako pure gid ako ngay longgo, but itwai na ako ang uh, mention dihan ni Sir Eric. So sa diyahon tayo, huh? Colossians chapter two and verse. Colossians chapter 2 and verse 2 as that's uh, verse 7. The Bible says uh, Colossians chapter 2 that their hearts might be comforted being met together in love and to all riches of full assurance of understanding to acknowledgement of the mystery of God and of the Father and of Christ. Thank you for your grace and mercy and for being with us. We know that without you, Lord, we can do nothing. Thank you sa sinayatiyon nga imuginuogin sa bat ang isa kahandom ni Sir Eric na sa day matigayon ini. Ginawa kong pangamuyo, ikaw mag-bless, ikaw maghatagalam sa amon, maintindihan namon ang imupulong sa tunga namon karon. Pakigupod ka, i-bless, ginawang kada isa, bisang pangamon, tagipusoon, ikaw magpakihambal sa amon. Kumakita natin dira, Magsiling kita nga engagement. Engagement is a period between a marriage proposal and the marriage. Chakto? This is a mutual promise and confirmation of marriage. We learn that love is the true measure of all that you do. Nothing we say, nothing we have, nothing we do has any value apart from love. So you do this, you do that. You can sacrifice. Why? Because you love. Amen? Sir Eric, please stand. I know you have a lot uh, of preparation. Just do it now. This has been a long time coming. We met in 2019 and heart El Marco Academia. You are my sweet princess, you are my honey bunny, you are my pepe guapa, and my mahal. I love you with all of my heart, and I want to ask you if you will marry me.
I therefore declare you as newly engaged. So, magatin po kita tanan. I-pray natin sila. Ha? Pangamuyuan natin sila sa siningat iyon. Magalinong kita at magpangamuyo sa ilang aduha. Okay. So, congratulations. So, let's pray. Let's pray. Okay. Lay hands on me. Father God in heaven, We thank you, Lord, for this wonderful time that you have given to us. Lord, we come before your presence with humility and thanksgiving. Lord, we pray uh, your blessing on this engagement. We pray that you will pour out your favor and grace on this couple. Amen. Amen. Wow. Okay, so salamat, good. May I request Sir Eric and of course her bride to be to please proceed here as we have a capping of cake. <laughs> An engagement is not complete without traditions, of course. So we would like to move on to our first tradition. Translate na lang heart, ha? From the start, we observe heart is 
has only one boyfriend i think di ba Milona, no? my, my, my wife we have so uh, hard na usaragid ay ha boyfriend i don't know with you kung naaba mo ila ay ang ano observeran first um first tip is to start the big three conversations right away first your budget your wedding size and your location so this must be your priorities at this stage until wedding these are the big three conversations you need to have when you start your wedding planning journey these choices will lay the foundation for the rest of the decisions you make throughout this season of planning this is not easy we when i remember with milona's preparation for wedding we had only five months to prepare from january to may no and it's not enough to prepare the thing the big day it's not enough but still it was successful next don't guess or assume what the other person wants just ask I would venture to say the biggest misconception during wedding planning is that men don't care about wedding planning. That's true. That's the reality. Sometimes. But this time, you should be with heart in planning for your wedding. Because sometimes always the, the bride or the bride-to-be is very tired in having the plan. No? But I'm sure so Eric has also plans for your wedding. I would like to take this opportunity to pitch an idea and hear me out on this one. While dreams of how you want your wedding to go are wonderful, being engaged to someone are actually planning your wedding is different. Here's why. There are now two people and two different ideas of how the day should go. Okay lang siguro kung ako lang, usara ko nga magplano, pero duha na mo. Your wedding day will be the best day of both of your lives and you both should have a say in how goes. It's likely you need to sit down and share, then it will get 100% exactly what you want. And that's the reality. We are planning this one. This is the best plan we had. But in reality, during the big day, na ay mga di matuman. Diba? No matter what, you should both go into the conversation looking to understand the other and come away from the conversation feeling listened to and heard. Third, everything is expensive. Onions, mahal na kayong onions, very expensive in the Philippines, but not just onions, all the accessories for wedding is very, are very expensive. Understand that most wedding related goods and services, services are expensive, expensive simply because they are wedding related. The geographer, the the location of the wedding, the venue, the photographer, everything, especially for the wedding planner, everything is expensive, especially in the Philippines. Sir Eri. Fourth, engagement photos are a must. That's why, heart, you are lucky now because Sir Eric planned well with your family, heart, that you have this engagement party yeah because after 50 years you'll be looking back at your pictures and you will say oh wow i had this memorable event fifth get your wedding planner involved as soon as possible why we had already uh we had already experience without having a wedding planner it's very tired to plan for wedding you must have a wedding planner because all you need to do is to listen to the wedding planner to suggest and you will wait for the big day and you are not involved 
in all the preparations for your wedding day. Then, you don't have to take the sixth one. You don't have to take or ask for everyone's opinions. Because if you will be asking the opinions from others, you cannot do something uh, nice in your wedding. Because you, we cannot please everyone. So you, you must plan according to your perspective. Seven, don't spend every minute planning. Weddings take tons of planning time and give, give you countless stress headaches. Trust your wedding planner. Then, lastly, you must put God first in your relationship. Para nga matigayon ni nga, mga desire ni Sir Eric and Hart. So we don't know kung asa ni sila kas doon, maybe here in Mabinay or sa US. So ang atwara ani is to support them through prayers. So... As the wine is poured, are you engaged now? Make a prayer for a better future and the best life possible for them. Okay, so we bandar ang anay mga glass pero mga ulay wine pa dito ang nakatos. everyone to raise their glasses to groom and bride to be and join them in their fervent prayers through good fellowship, commitment, love, and happiness. Cheers! Wala ako kapati lagi eh. Cheers! Seryoso kayo ang uban sa likod o Cheers na ninyong mga baso di asudlan na ito nagtubig. Pag-asudlan ng tubig. Okay? After the toast, the couple will remain on stage for a photo opportunity. Then may we call... Kani mo amahan ng langit noon. Kapasalamatan kami nining ikan sa pagsugod o nining kagabi yun. Salamat kayo sa imo nga panalangin. Alis pa, hawa na ni sa kondo. Nitawag si Mary Joy, akong cousin. Onya, nakita na ako nga sa sa heels na kabotang calling. Pagkahuman, sige kong sakit-sakit niya. Nga no, nga nung nitawag si Mary Joy ni Monya. Ang iyahang sulti na ako kay nang hulam si Mary Joy o kwarta niya kay... <laughs> na daw siya ay emergency ko, no? De, okay niya. Nga nung wala ka rin ako. Nga nung nagritso tayo niya. <laughs> Pero wala na. Mauna gito niya. Kanang mga sukad pag uli ni Eric sa Amerika. Wala just me nag-istorya sa kabahay na nai-engagement. Wala just ko kadungo nga nag-istorya just me. O niya, gagahapon, nipalit ko mangga sa Changi. Niya na itong bayi yung tindera nga. O niya, naabot na dahil ka. Kumusta ang engagement? Ano ako, kung sa engagement ti, yun siya nga, niyong mo ito yung may egsoon nga, isurprise daw ka. Niya, niya na ako nga, wala mo miga, wala mo miga hisgot ana, niya ti, di sa gamay, and siya nga, ay basig jok-jok lato sa inyong egsoon niya. Nakahint na dyan ko gahapon, si ang kong kase, niya na man siya nga, Bito kas, nagpatangsgiving ko kayo na-promote, mago ko PO3. Ikaw nga, bongga dito niya, ganina na kay. Ni Honong, ni siya nga, kas okay, nag-ihatod na ito si Sir Eric O na dito sa venue kay. Magpakuyog ko ni Mon, akong tagbuon aginikanan ni Edsel sa iyahang labi-dabi. Siya nga, maghula sa tas to ang terminal ko, sige kas okay ra. Pagbangutan lang ako nga, pinaday sila kabukas. Ang siya, upat. Uy, upat. Hindi naman ni Kaigo na yung upat. Tawad-tawad nangis na yan dito. Bundumi sa terminal. Asya nga, ay, madugo yan po siguro to sila kas. Ang ihatod na lamang tika o na kas. Kaya basig, maning mapulang ka magpaabot. Ay, sige kas, okay na po niya. Pag naog niya ganun, nakita naman ako silang Sir Mill. Ang video cover nga. Nagtapog ka sila dito niya. Tanong ako, ako rin may gaputi. 
dito na ako na so wala akong kakulpa pero ako na dyan gi, gi force akong kaugalingan nga ah kung ano ka nang nakahisgot man siya o birthday surprise na daw ni Karon kay ugma akong birthday na may makeup artist na abot ganinas balay ayan niya na mo nga naman ni na siya nga that's my advance Christmas sur ah, kaning birthday surprise yung ko ah sige pero na ano kay gamay ngayon pero wako ka expect ganina nga pag abot dyan ako Nakitan ako mga ante, labi na lang ate og si Kuya Romel. Hola. Ano na abot mo na sa Philippines? Siga kunta. Surprise ko kaayo bisan pag nakoy na gamay nga hint or pagduda atong una. So, thank you so much for giving all the effort and and contacting my cousin and my family for Wala <laughs> pay. I was really really surprised. Yeah, huh? Surprise you. And it's a prank. <laughs> Not a prank. <laughs> and thank you so much sa inyong pag-ani o pag-appeal sa amuang kung sa'y tawag ani. <laughs> prank. <laughs> Pita, joke lang. Dalang salamat. Yeah, te, bisa glayo kayong dumagiti. Inyo halin ni ani, migi ani. <laughs> Grabe ka surprise. Salamat kayo sa inyong panahon. Ang gakong hihatag sa usa. <laughs> Mayong gabi, everyone. <laughs> I'm going to try to add to what Hard said. That was a lot. But first of all, I'd like to thank everybody for coming. Uh, I'd like to thank the Lord for allowing us to have a wonderful celebration here and a wonderful grad to be in my heart. Uh, thank you, for everyone, that helped make this a surprise because. Um, Hart had no idea this was going on until she walked in uh, about two hours ago. So thank everyone, um, Mary Joy, Hart sisters. Uh, I, I'm sad that Hanaline could not be here. She was a big part of this. Uh, and mom, of course, um, who's in heaven now, would have, is, is looking down on us seeing this celebration. But um, this is a wonderful uh, experience. It's a very exciting. And I want to just keep it short and thank everyone for making it possible and making this very memorable. Thank you so much. Salama ka ayu. Thank you so much, guys. Lapatan and kiss the bride. Okay. Once again, we would like to thank everyone for coming here today and sharing this momentous occasion with Sir Eric and Hart. We do pray that all of you had a great time. Okay, so I am Elmi Bohol Ligundon.